isn't Next.js that Vercel thing? I use AWS. I don't want to get locked into another platform. Well, let's talk a bit about lock-in, because I feel like this conversation's super misunderstood. First and foremost, we should probably try and define vendor lock-in. To me, vendor lock-in means intentional effort to do that obfuscation. There is a thing that can happen that looks a lot like vendor lock-in, which is innovation resulting in new paradigms being introduced. But those paradigms are helping push the web forward a lot of the time in the spaces that we'll be talking about. And I think that Vercel is getting a pretty bad rap here because of the amount of things they're introducing within Next.js itself that they are supporting at Vercel. This all started because of a tweet from our good friend Ryan saying that Next isn't really open source software. It only runs on infra with internal code to host it. The reason he tweeted about this is because Open Next just started getting attention today. This was supposed to be announced later in the week, but some of the community members from SST saw it and started using it, so it started getting a little buzz. The TLDR on Open Next is it is an open source project to make it easier to deploy Next to AWS with all of the fancy features that Next.js includes, like the image optimization stuff, the middleware that runs on Edge, server site or static site generation, incremental static revalidation. This is one of the big ones. A lot of the providers don't actually support ISR. And as a result, this looks like something that means or that Next.js wasn't open before. Like if this is open Next, does that mean Next was closed? Eh, not really. I think it's important to understand through something like open Next, this is a community effort to take the innovation that Next 13 has done on Vercel's platform and extend that to other places. For a platform and a company to innovate, they have to work around the rules as they exist. And Next.js is uniquely positioned by Vercel, the company that makes money, to do crazy things like incremental static revalidation. This was a new idea when Vercel introduced it. And it wasn't and still technically isn't supported by the infrastructure platforms themselves directly. In order for this to exist, Next and Vercel had to work together to introduce this new paradigm. And they documented the hell out of it. And most of the code that makes it run is out there for anyone to rip. These efforts have historically been very public. And there's been a lot of effort from the Vercel and Next teams to go out of their way to continue supporting other places to run Next.js. Does that mean that there are places that are better than Vercel and have the new features day one? No, but it does mean that they can experiment with new features and try out new things like the original middleware patterns that sucked with the file-based routing for middleware, which they got to try, make work on their infra, which actually didn't deploy on AWS at all, it deployed on Cloudflare. <laughs> And they were able to run multiple runtimes in one Next.js app. And then they learned that the way they architected it kind of sucked. So they rebuilt the whole thing. And that whole time, they were working on Vercel's build platform to make it so other frameworks originally just Svelte, but now the build output platform and API is used for everything from Solid Start to Remix to Astro. And I use it to deploy a ton of different stuff. Generally speaking, both Vercel and Next have gone out of their way to push the technologies forward and innovate without locking out other options. Should they have put more effort into supporting those other platforms and services? Maybe. That's an argument that I am intrigued by, but I don't think it is their responsibility to, especially when the things they're building may not end up working and may not end up being adopted. It's the community's responsibility to show that these things are interesting and valuable by building their own integrations with them and around them. And since Next.js has this platform like Vercel that allows them to deploy and allows them to build in the ways that they need to to keep innovating on Next, and most importantly, Next is the go-to option for a full stack web app right now, they don't have to support other platforms to increase adoption the same way a Remix would because Remix is trying to get any and all customers they can because they're competing with Next. And they do that by supporting all the things that maybe Next doesn't support as well. 
And that's a huge angle for them to have and take in order to increase adoption. But this is all for the community to do. And Vercel has taken no direct action to block the community from doing this with Next. In fact, I'm bringing this up because the creator of Open Next and the founder of SST, which is Serverless Stack, the one of the companies that does open source AWS deployment simplification to make it easier to deploy your apps to AWS. He's the founder of that and Open Next. And he wanted to talk a bit about why this all happened. And I think his comments are very interesting and important in particular because he is very directly praising the work Vercel has done on Next and how he has had a good experience working with them, building things like Open, St or Open Next and SST. The, they want the Vercel experience on their own infra. Or, so specifically here, uh, he's saying that the team at Vercel has done an amazing job as people want to use Next every day in any shape or form but they want all of the features and experience that Vercel has built. It's hard to do. Next is open, but it's deployed in a custom way. There's a few moving parts, all these pieces, the serverless function, CDNs, edge functions, image optimization, etc. Most of the other frameworks don't support all of these things unless they're deployed on Vercel. As a result, these integrations are complex and you need to understand them well enough when you're self-deploying because Next isn't just a way to run Node and JavaScript code. Next is infrastructure. There is a build output, but it doesn't have all of the things Vercel does, but they're able to patch those in with Open Next. Uh, as outlined in Open Next, there was a few community attempts that weren't like pushed with enough effort, or they were run by closed source SaaS products like Netlify or Amplify. Open Next is trying to pool all those efforts together, so all the people who are trying to run Next in different places can have a single standardized way to do that. This is a testament to how good Next and Vercel is. The fact that this tech is so good that people want to copy the experience in other solutions and self-deployed solutions shows how powerful it is. But most importantly, they don't think that Vercel has done anything wrong here. Vercel is still the best way to host a Next app. It makes sense for them to be that way. But most importantly, they have been and working on improving the self-hosting and they've been fantastic to work with specifically calling out lee rob who as y'all know from our chat here has been incredible to work with as well it's quite likely the case that making next work well outside of Vercel is just lower on their priorities this is the most important piece i think a lot of people miss this part Vercel isn't working to not support or block support of other platforms and solutions it just doesn't make sense as a priority when they're trying to figure out which parts of Next are and aren't working and make the best possible developer experience. They're establishing the experience and not blocking others from recreating it and reproducing the best parts of it. But Vercel's role here isn't to support every single thing under the sun. It is to build the best possible experience as the majority holder of the full stack web space and through their building there and through what they are uniquely positioned to do, create new, improved, groundbreaking ways to do web dev. And the best ones will make their way to the rest of the community, especially if you help them in that process. The TLDR of this is that Vercel is working to make development better, and they are not blocking other companies, developers, infrastructure, competitors even, from taking and learning from their solutions. It kind of sucks to see them dragged in the way I'm seeing them dragged. It almost feels like if they didn't put the effort into supporting things, they'd get less crap because it would all be locked into one place and no one would want it other places. But it is testament to the quality of the work Vercel has done that we're having this conversation at all because Next.js does set a new, very high bar for the experience a developer can have deploying full stack infrastructure. And because of that high bar, we all want that everywhere we can have it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this one. I believe the sub and like buttons are both here now. Uh, YouTube keeps moving them on me. More importantly, though, there's a video right there that YouTube's going to recommend. So make sure to check that out if you haven't. Good chatting as always. Thank you, Mir, for the edit.